At least DJ will be rested tomorrow. <laughs> I'm glad he'll be nice and rested tomorrow for the um for, for the, the Indians. For the Cleveland Indians. Ooh, they they could come into the Bronx and punch us in the mouth this weekend. I'm not gonna hold you. They're not as bad as what people think. They got some hitters. They got still got hitters. Jose Jose Ramirez. Yep. That's what Ryan Mill. Oh yeah, who killed us? It might be the cable, Joe. No. <laughs> it just doesn't help because you're looking at the schedule for all three teams, the remaining schedules. The Yankees have the toughest schedule. The Yankees have three versus Cleveland, three versus Texas, then three versus Boston, three versus Toronto, three versus Tampa. Toronto has seven versus Minnesota, three versus Tampa, three versus the Yankees, three versus Baltimore. The Red Sox have six versus Baltimore. Their next six are against Baltimore. Three versus the Yankees, three versus Washington. What the fuck? Who snuck that shit in there? And then two versus the Mets. Boy, I know. Okay, yeah. I'm not close, bro. Who's yours? My camera is like so fucking like on my face. Is there any way to mat, like zoom out? Mister. All right. All right. Uh, uh. Damn if I All do. Right. Damn if I don't. I'm ready to start if you guys want to. StreamYard doesn't have uh, 1080p. Well, it doesn't have 1080, 1080p. I mean, it does, but you know, it doesn't. It doesn't come up for me. No, no, it does, but it just has to be. You have to pay for it. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. I'm not even going to ask how much. I feel like, I don't know, streaming art might be a little bit expensive. <laughs> yeah, like for the ten. <laughs> um, Joey, Joey sent the numbers. What is what? The 1080p. Blue bag. Um, we could start, right? Sure. Hey, Jeannie, what's up? In the, like, I'm going to be honest. I don't even feel like playing the song on this one either. <laughs> Four and two in the last six. I guess, you know. It's supposed to be five and one, bro. Yeah. Last six, not four and two. All right, let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. All right, let's start. And Kendrick, can I get my monitor turned on? My my setup is cool, but it's not functional. All right, so Yankees just finished losing a game against the Orioles, which I mean, losing a game against the Orioles means that basically lost the series. Um, <laughs> Yo, it is ass. September 16th, man. And if you're looking at the calendar, Yankees just finished playing their 147th game, which means that, you know, there's not that many games left. There's 16 games left in this season for the New York Yankees. So, obviously, every game means something. Um, I, You know, the bullpen's gassed. I get it. People still getting rest days. Despite Yankees not having some sort of like wild card lead. Um, right now trailing in the wild card. I think they're in the outside looking in at this moment in time. Half Correct. game. Right. Correct. Half game. When the Yankees could have actually been half game up. Um, we're going to discuss that. We're going to discuss the overall mood. Um, I, guess, I guess the Yankees have been playing better recently. Um, we'll talk about news. We'll talk about <laughs> better than last week. <laughs> better than last week. Uh, we'll talk about news. We'll talk about all of this stuff now. And um, Keith, Chris, and I, Pitcher and Strong Podcast. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. 
Whatever, man. It, I know we don't play it when we lost, when we lose the series. And I know that we've been really good at not letting the final game of the series determine how we feel about the entire series, right? <laughs> but today feels like we lost the series. Am I the only one that feels that way? I can't. Yeah. No. <laughs> what? It, uh, it feels like it feels like we lost the series. It's it's wild to me. Um, I'm glad DJ's rested. Um, very glad DJ's rested, and whatever. It just sucks, man. Because I, you know, you're looking at the. That's like. This is like the calling card. You're gonna look at this season, no matter what. If the only way that you'll forget about this is if we get, you know, obviously in the playoffs, get into some playoff series and things like that. But you can literally say the New York Yankees did not win their division because of their record against the Orioles. They're eleven and eight against the Orioles. Eleven and eight against the Orioles. Let that sit for a second. Who were who were looking to lose their 100th game of the season today? They were looking to lose it, and um, Yankees have lost eight games to them. Yeah, they won the season series, but I'm sorry. If you want to compete, if you want to be in the playoffs, if you want to be taken serious, you cannot lose eight games to the Orioles. You just can't. In, compar- in comparison to the Rays' record against the Orioles. Well, the, yeah, I mean, the Rays are 18-1. and one. I mean, shit. That's the division right there. Maybe you say, hey, you know what? You can't determine that. It's like, all right, cool. Maybe if the Yankees win three more of those games, they're three up on the wild card right now. Three and a half up on the wild. If they win three of three more of those games, now th- those are three less losses. I mean, I don't know. I that's bad, bad, bad. Shame. <laughs> the bow. Shame. The bow. Shame, Yankees. That's embarrassing. Welcome to the Pinterest Run Podcast. Uh, Keith, Chris, I, I means Joe's. There's no I in Joe's, but it's all good. Um, silent. The I is silent. Joe Z? No, Joe's? Jose. 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 Jose McFly. Uh, I don't know. This is wild. Um, what's good, Jeff? Jeff in the chat here. My name is Jeff. Jeff. My name is Jeff. It was popping, Jeff. Popping, I just Jeff. saw him. I just saw him tweet. A uh, tweet. I just saw him quote tweet. a tweet. That's a quoted tweet. Tweets. Tweets. <laughs> uh, copyright. Um, how you feel, Keith, man? Um, not great. But like at this point, how many times have we felt not great about the way a series ended, the way a game ended? Uh, I don't want to say I'm checked out, but losing that game tonight, a five o'clock start that didn't end until, I don't know, 915. Uh, MLB dragged it with the rain. The grounds crew in, in Baltimore did what they had to do. But you know who didn't do what they had to do? The Yankees. The Yankees went up 2-0 and we'll talk about it. But like, I don't know. I'm just tired of seeing that. Uh, it was in our hands to to make that game a um a laugher if we made that game uh put some more distance on that game maybe we don't sit through that and they just bag it and when you look at the numbers uh how many games we have left our opponents um i think i put out a tweet today i, I was like the the rays play tonight I, I don't know did they lose it doesn't even matter i'm not even like they scoreboard won. watching at this point anymore um toronto didn't great. play boston didn't play and all the yankees had to do was go out there behind Jordan Montgomery and and I don't know, man. That's that's how I'm feeling. I'm just feeling like uh, I'm I'm at the end of the line with this because like how much more do you need to see uh, to like you know just like stop believing or stop like like I set myself up for failure because I'm like yeah we sweep the the Orioles and then 
We can't even sweep the Orioles, the worst team in the league. So uh, at least there's football on tonight. Basketball's coming back soon. Uh, whatever happens with the Yankees at this point, I'm non-committal. I'm like, I'm indifferent to the situation. <laughs> like whatever happens, happens. They're not that good. Uh, it's it's because of the inconsistency, man. Like, you know, we always we keep saying this, uh, how we don't even know who this team is. Be like, they're so inconsistent. Um, I don't know how you allow the Orioles to win today to win that game. I don't know how DJ and Voight are sitting down when our offense can't even put anything together. Um, no urgency. I, like. This is no time to be resting people, B. You know, like our, our offense is shit. And it's true what John Boy said, man. Like yeah, I saw the the post game uh recap and he's like, "Yo, we can't put it on the on the pitching. We can't." No Monty way. Monty gave you a phenomenal e even after getting shellacked by the Mets, he came back and said, "Nah, man, I mean, this is not going to happen again, B." And we can't score for the man. That's, that's been a, a that, I mean, if you want to talk about consistency, we can we can never score the whole season. We can never score for Monty. Uh, you know, uh, Cortez gave us a phenomenal game yesterday. Started a phenomenal game yesterday, and that was a game that we almost lost too. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, if if, if the shortstop would have played a little bit back, that's an out. You know what I mean? So I I don't know. I I, I feel like this is bullshit. Uh, the way we've been playing against the worst team in, in baseball, um, I think it's bullshit that we in the, in this position right now on September 16th, outside looking in by by a half game, and it just sucks, man. It just it just sucks. It's it's, it's almost like a job watching the game, and I, I hate feeling that way. Baby. I hate feeling that, like I was falling out. You know what I mean? I had a long day at work, and I'm here laying down watching the game. I'm like, bro, I was almost fucking snoring. This shit is it's is whack, man. It's stupid. And fuck that MLB for not getting, uh, <laughs> calling the game. <laughs> like, why you didn't call yeah. the game? Well, you know what? If the Yankees would have did their job and maybe have not <laughs> gone one for seven runners in scoring position and maybe have gotten maybe three, maybe four hits in those situations against the Oriole team that's just bad, then maybe then maybe MLB says, hey, we're going to call this game because it makes no sense us playing it. The Orioles are trash. And you know what? Let's go. But... Yeah. The That's fact true. that it's a one-run game, you know, for a while a two-run game and then a one-run game, you owe it. Win. You owe it to the integrity of your playoff race and the teams that are in it: Seattle, the um, the uh, Oakland, um, the Red Sox, Blue and Jays. Toronto. You owe it for them to try their best to play this game because of that. If the Yankees are have, if this is like a blowout score, maybe the umpires are like, all right, let's call it shit, bro. This is the Orioles, their ass. This seems good. Let's just move on to the next game. But because it was a one run game, that's why they said, hey, figure it out. One thing I want to say is, it's true. Luke Voigt, DJ LeMahieu, Aaron Judge, right? Aaron Judge is. He, he played today. No, I know he, he played. Was... Aaron Judge is 29 years old. The reason Luke Voigt is not playing today is because you feel like you need to DH your 29-year-old. Luke Voigt is not in the field in a game that you want to sweep. How many times are we going to take the Orioles lightly? This is the problem this year. This is why we're 11-8. and eight. Because these games, you take them as like, hey, you know what? Kind of won the series, but let's try to skate on in the final game of the series or whatever it is. You know, the last time that we faced them, that's the same shit that happened. The lineup, they put a dog shit lineup out there, game two, and then the, the Orioles ended up winning game three, and you lost that series. How many times? You know? Why is DJ LeMayhew, who's the guy you just finished paying, he's 32 years old, but you just finished finished paying him the five-year deal or whatnot, and you're going to go ahead and bench him? Why? You kind of need every fucking game. Play your best lineup every day. 2012. Derek Jeter was 38 years old and played 159 games. He led all of MLB in plate appearances. What are we doing? He had 216 hits on that year. 
at age 38. What is why are we still resting players when we're trying to make the playoffs? Schedule rest, you know, low management. Bro, I don't understand this team's like sit your lead off hitter. Sit your lead off hitter when you have the series on the line because he needs to rest. Because that's when you he sit on the calendar. He, was like, he finally was started hitting. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. let's cool him off. Was it 20 games in a row? He's starting to heat up. Cool him off. His last, his last yeah. seven games, DJ's batting 320. Last 15 games, he's batting 300. Yeah, nice homer. Uh, I don't know, man. They. Oh, yeah. what I, I think I, I said this last episode. They do the shit that we don't want them to do, and then they lose, and that's what makes it frustrating. That's what makes it even more frustrating. It's one thing. It's one thing to take an L when you're like, "Yeah, we had all our best guys in. We pushed the right buttons in the bullpen. You know, the ball didn't bounce our way." No, the Yankees seem to fuck it up from the time the lineup comes out to the last out. Whether it's mental errors in between, whether it's I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Let, let's. Uh, can, can you imagine being Monty though? Like, is that fair to him? No. Like he goes out there and then he looks at the lineup and he's like, "What the fuck is it? We doing this again?" Why do you guys always do this shit in my starts? Changing up the lineup. Here we go he again. Score for me. Let's let's rest everybody. <laughs> Monty start. You good, Monty? You got it. Let's start. Let's start Wade. He good. He got it. Listen, man. It just sucks, man. It, it really sucks. We do have some news, guys. Right. We do have some news. Uh, so Sal Romano is back. Krisky was designated for assignment. He's an Oreo now. He's back and he's gone. <laughs> he's back and he's gone. Uh, Herman, man, he had a rehab game, two innings pitch, two hits, no walks, no runs, four Ks, and his rehab wrong. game triple A. That's awesome. Uh, Loizaga, he's close to throwing. Uh, well, he's he's expected to start a throwing program tomorrow, mm-hmm. and Sevi will throw to hitters Friday. That's two ups um, from Meredith said, like, that's two innings. It says Sevi Sevi is ahead of Loisica. Yeah, likely rehab start thereafter. A rehab assignment thereafter if session goes well for Sevi. And Tyone uh, told Meredith that his ankle responded well after yesterday's bullpen. Added some movement drills today. No concrete schedule, but a Saturday bullpen likely next step. And if there's any, any other news, you let us know in the chat, in the chat, in the chat. That's it. That's That's the um, yeah. This these these past four games could have been a fucking disaster. Cause because the twins oh, game. I got news. <laughs> I got news that was from a week before, but it makes sense for today. So, um, a couple weeks ago, maybe no, last week I saw Jordan Montgomery sign with Boris Scott Boris. He signed with Boris Corp, and mm. I think we signed him on a one year deal. And he's pitched pretty well for the Yankees, who haven't scored for him. So Boris, right? You know, Boris also represents Garrett Cole. Garrett mm-hmm. Cole and Monty been hanging out. He's like, we're going to make sure we get you this bag, Monty. Put a, put a pin in that one. Stay tuned for that. Yeah, Monty. Uh, Cole Cole was trying to keep the rain away from Monty. <laughs> <laughs> what a joke uh, with the rain. Two oh, hours of rain. God. Two hours of freaking rain. Would have never happened in the Bronx. Zero chance. Zero <laughs> chance. The pitching's been really good all year for the Yankees, and the offense has just been fucking dog shit, bro. Which is bullshit because the pitching is what we've been worried why, about. Why have we been playing? We why have we been playing these teams with the Orioles? Why are we playing them so close? I get it. Okay, I get the whole the whole you know one run record about how that actually helps build your characteristics for the playoffs because that's all it is in the playoffs. But bro, why are you doing it against fucking bottom feeder ass teams? Playing down to your competition, underestimating guys, and being asleep at the wheel. That like the, these guys are asleep at the wheel. This whole series, there were little things from Glaber Torres, from other oh. guys where it's just like, bro. Like, are y'all locked in? Are you mentally like thinking about what you're doing with the game on the line? Or you you walking you you're walking through this game, you're you're going through the motions. 84 games decided by one or two runs. That's the most in MOB. I think they're tied with the Mets after tonight. And <laughs> the Yankees, though, in those 84 games are 52 and 31. 
which is great. That's phenomenal in the records or, you know, or I'm sorry, 52 and 32, excuse me, because tonight was a loss. Um, in those games decided by one or two runs. That's the best in MLB. So that's great. And then 39 come from behind wins this season. That's the third most in MLB. I feel like like diving more into those numbers because those numbers look really pretty. They're not going to matter if we don't but, get in. Like, Yeah, well, if you dive into them, I just wonder how many of those games are against sub-500, like teams that we should have been blowing out. <laughs> because I was listening to, to, to Sharp Stats, and like, there's this number that they that they have. It's called like it's like a uh, um, uh, like a like a high leverage number, you know, where like relievers are pitching and things like that. That the difference between the first place team, which is the Yankees by a lot, and the second place team, is the same as the difference between the second place team and the 15th place team. Like all those teams together. It's insane. Like the Yankees are lapping the competition in something you don't want them to. That's these crazy. close, these close games that are like, holy shit. I, I, I mean, I get it. I say 162 one game seasons, but guys, these relievers are living it, bro. Like <laughs> they're literally living 162 one game seasons. There's no like every game. Like they have no blowouts. So that sucks. Um, it sucks. It really does suck. Uh, that- Which is another reason why the 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 bullpen has been gassed because we can't yeah. throw bums like, you know, the bums like Krisky out there because even Krisky can't hold a fucking big lead. Be like, uh, bro, we, like, threw, I, I, we threw Sal Romano out there and he broke his hand. He was broken. <laughs> like, bro, we have like, there's no. There's no middle ground. You either really ass or you're really good. And because of the oh my god, let's get into these games. You want to get into these games real quick? No, sure, really. Because yeah. Everything <laughs> has a domino effect, man. That's so crazy the way baseball works. And because the Yankees lost their off day because of the Minnesota thing, a, a game that they were that MLB had no problem raining out, and then now they they played they made the Yankees play through a monsoon. I mean, whatever doesn't go um, down in the Bronx, yo. They call the them Orioles, games. The, the Orioles <laughs> played through it too, but imagine. I think the Orioles would have complained playing through it if they would have been losing ten to two. They'd be like, "Come on, guys, we just want to lose our one hundredth game already. We want to go fishing. It's over." <sighs> Yankees lost this game. Garrett Cole. Well, Yankees won the first game. Garrett Cole goes out there. That's on. This is on. Tuesday. Are we cover Monday's game? We oh, well, cover. we have to cover this. We have to cover the Twins yeah, game said, on this Yeah, we said, we said it was going to be part of this pod. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Some say it was a win of the year. <laughs> the, the of I don't the know year. about all that. Bro. I don't know about that now. I don't know about that now. About it felt like a turning point. Talk about teams you're supposed to destroy. Um, the Minnesota Twins. Death taxes and the Yankees beating the Minnesota Twins. Twins come in here with a – they came into the with a 63 and 80 record. I felt bad for the Twins because they were at home in Minnesota, had to travel to the Bronx, and then travel back to Minnesota to play a doubleheader. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> MLB hates the fucking Twins. Baseball. How do you do that to them? We're in the middle of a 20-game stretch, man. It's none of our concern. <laughs> I, I mean, I get it, but that's, that's different when you're at least competing for something. Imagine you're 63 and 81 and you have to do that. I mean, they they get him paid to play a game. Dude. Come on, yeah, they do, but I'm just saying. Like, that shit is fucking. <laughs> oh no, it is, it is crazy. Like in terms of traveling, yeah, but they got in at 1:30 in the morning. So, oh, um, yeah, and 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 then they go up four zip <laughs> right away. <laughs> they weren't tired. They weren't tired. I was like, what the fuck is happening here? Yeah, he he was not a king that day, man. That shit was crazy, but he did oh. settle down. He did. He did settle down. But before he did that, he gave up another uh, a home run to Buxton. Right before I said, guys, trust me, the Yankees are not going to lose this game. And Buxton deep to left. And by the way, Ryan Ruko, when he calls the Yankee games, he's like undefeated. He's like un- unbelievable. Ruko, I'm going to need you to call every single game from here on out, please. No offense, Michael K. No disrespect. But, you know, we just need the wins. Um, yo, 
I'm gonna call you bitches. No I'm disrespect. No disrespect. Uh, Yankees ended up, you know, mounting like a little bit of a comeback, you know, with the DJ Sack fly, Gallo homers. Just, by the way, we got to talk about Gallo a little bit later, but you know, he's starting to find his his home run swing. Marcus Timms. Mar Marcus <laughs> Timms got him right. I'm not saying stroke. Um, not <laughs> Hey, yo! <laughs> All right, relax. Um, Joey Gallo homered, and then I, I you know, <laughs> the Yankees got a call. All right, when Gardner walked on that curveball, it was like, okay, that was a strike. He walks, judges next, three run homer. The Twins are saying not again, and here we go. <laughs> With that game. They would tie the game. Yankees going to extra innings. Gary with a, a walk off single. Yankees win six to five. Um, I thought the bullpen was great in this game. Uh, even Heaney. I'm gonna give Heaney his credit because if I got if I give him shit, I gotta give him credit. Came in one and two thirds, allowed one hit, had a walk too, but he struck out two. Had had a clean outing. A good mm -hmm. job of him. Uh, Abreu had a clean out, and then. <laughs> They brought in Chapman, who held it down after the walk and a hit. Uh, listen, it's okay. <sighs> Chapman, it's okay. Uh, yep. Struck out two. It's then okay. he, he gets out of it. And then uh, Holmes, who's been a godsend, comes in, gives the Yankees a very clean inning. And uh, that's the pen, that's the pen right there. Um, Yankees win 6-5 to five. On the Twins, death taxes, and Yankees beating the Minnesota Twins. Anything else stood out for you guys in this game? 27 outs. Uh, yep. Even though we make it hard for ourselves, it's good to mm -hmm. see them fight all the way through, come back and win with their backs against the wall, knowing that they're not supposed to lose a Monday 2 o'clock game against the Minnesota Twins in the Bronx. So what these weird times? I don't know. I gave my tickets away. I was like, I'm not beat, especially after Sunday night baseball. I'm like, I'm not going to the Bronx today to watch them like potentially lose to the Twins. Yeah. Um, I saw a tweet that uh, Keith put out. He said, uh, "If we win today, if we, if we lose today, <laughs> the, se the, se the season is <laughs> is done. If we win today, we live to fight another day." And down five zip. <laughs> I was like, "Well, you know." Not a game it's we should crazy, be crazy, right? Not it's a game we should be fucking losing, but not a game we should be losing. That's when I say there's no urgency, and you can't control obviously Luis Hill giving up four runs to start the game, but like go answer back right away. Don't wait till the end of the game to answer and score. It's like, where's the urgency? Y'all know where y'all know where we're at in the season. You know, there's not a lot of time, you know, the stakes are high. Well, I mean. Who pitched for them? The thing is, is that John Gant I, pitched and they pulled him out. It became a bullpen game. That's when I was like, "Oh, great! The Twins are always here for us. Death taxes and the Twins being right here for us to whoop their ass." And we still struggled against their bullpen. Some of the guys coming out of their bullpen, I'm like, "I never heard of these dudes." Yeah, they didn't hit Farrell. I mean, they hit Barclaw and Duffy and Colome, and you know, I, I I look at it as like. I don't know why. It feels like when the Yankees have like a starter that ends up leaving a game early, that they just don't adjust well to like people coming out of the pen. Does that yeah. always feel that way? No, like yeah. They, like they yeah. really prepare for that starter so much that they really don't know what to do against other people that they don't know in the pen that they probably didn't prepare for. Whenever we face starters that we've never seen before they pitch great against us when we supposedly prepare for them. But you're right, we lock in on the starter and then it's like when we go off or they go off script, we don't know how to adapt. We're like stunned by whoever comes out of the pen. And then oh it's supposed to be a better lineup. It's supposed to be yeah. a lot better hitters in this lineup. So we have here, we have uh, the next day, we then play the Orioles, Camden Yards, right? We're supposed to beat them. We got the ace back on the mound, Garrett Cole. Let's go. Uh, first time back. Um, Yankees won this game seven to two, but you know, Garrett Cole would only go five innings, four hits, uh, gave up one run, three walks, which wasn't good. He just didn't have his location on this day. Yeah, that first inning was tough, was rough. It was rough. 
Uh, Scruff McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 6-6-5-2. 29 pitches in that first inning. Couldn't locate, and that's not good. You're like, okay, he's coming off the hammy. He took a start off. He had a week off, and he's not looking great against the Orioles. But he right. figured it out. He figured it out as uh, the ace that he is. So the good. offense figured it out, too. Yeah, the, the offense figured it out. I, I will say this. The, what this game kind of showed me, it showed me how important Mike King is. Yes. Mm. Michael King, because everybody was saying, you're King, Joe, uh, in the chat. No. Michael King would come <laughs> in and, you know, the, the bullpen, we talked about the bullpen being tired because they got to play in all of these close games. Comes in, pitches effectively, Three innings, no hits, no runs, no funny business. Maybe one walk, two strikeouts. Great job, Mike King. Uh, you are the pinstripe shirt. No, um, but uh, good job. <laughs> uh, appreciate you, man, coming in and being able to do that for the pennant. I feel like the Yankees haven't really had that guy in the past. When we used to have that no runs DMC, I feel like that guy used to have used to be like Chad Green, right? Like he'd come in, couple innings. Come in, uh, you know, a couple of innings in those middle innings and like really save the bullpen. Nestor used to be like that. Nestor was that guy as well. Nestor Cortez, he always he's in the starting rotation because of need, um, not because of want, but now it's because of want. Now, yeah, now he's now made he's, it that way. Stayed, stayed I trust him. I'm pumped for Nestor Cortez yeah, Jr. night. Sure. <laughs> uh, Judge with Homer in this game, he had a Homer. And uh, guys, that that would basically be it for Judge. He like bet, went like over for the series after that. Where the fuck did he go? That shit was crazy. Uh, he had a two run homer, and then Giancarlo hit a two run homer. Uh, that was a bomb. Luke Voigt, who sat today because why play him? I mean, he, we only need runs. Uh, he would homer, making it five zero against these very same O's that we wish we would have had another homer up against. Um, Mount Castle, who it just feels like he's in the middle in the middle of every scoring thing. Um hits him, it Hayes, him, Hayes, and Mullins. Yes, him, him, Hayes, and Mullins. <laughs> him, him, and Mullins. That sounds like three people. Uh, <laughs> four, that sounds like four people. Him, Hayes, and Mullins. Who's him? <laughs> Hayes and Mullins. Right. Um, Gallo hit another homer. He's going on a, on a little binge. Um uh, he's going on a little binge right now, uh, is Gallo, and then I made it six to one. And then DJ Homer, Yankees would have five Yankees Homer. And by the way, guys, two of those Yankees that would Homer would sit today. Got to rest after you hit a home run, like, got to chill the next day. Two of those Yankees that Homer would 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 hit the bench, and one of those would need to DH. I mean, I I just I don't <sighs> I don't get it. I just don't get it. Don't get you got to rest them for the October run. But Keith, why are we in game one forty seven still telling the Yankees play your best lineup? Yo, because the Yankees are the smartest people in the world, right? They have their own system, they have their own way of doing things and their own way of thinking, and. I guess traditional baseball people, modern day fans like us, Yankees, Twitter, what we see and what we think they don't care about. Cause there's a long list of things now that is just dumb shit. It just falls under the category of dumb shit. Like, like Luke Voigt. I, I know he's got to be pissed off watching a struggle. Like, can I get more ABs? Tyler Wade popped into the game yesterday and I'm like, look at how this guy impacts the game. Where has he been? I could go, I could go on. I can go on with the pitching, with a lot of, like, just stupid decisions. Like, Glaber Torres today. I thought Glaber was going to sit today. And it's like, no, DJ's resting. Glaber's in. And I was like, I don't know, yo. Like, that's the opposite of what I thought was going to happen. Keith, one time, you know, I I used to have a mentor. And he used to kind of help me out and stuff like that. And then there'll be times, that, like, with all of us, where we'll share our our ideas and then we were like more combative because we're like we want to be we want to be right right and he told me one thing that just has stuck with me my whole life he said do you want to be right or do you want to be rich and i said you know what the answer is easy so i'll just ask the yankees this question i'll kind of change it around because you guys are already fucking rich you know you're making money you're printing money basically. all right 
Do you want to be right? Do you want to win? Like it's this week. Do you want to be right or do you want to win? Because it feels like you just want to be right over winning. That's how it feels. It feels like you want to prove that your system works so much. You want to you want to prove that that you're willing to sacrifice games and to do it. Why? Oh, you got to lose the battle to win the war. Lose the battle. You know what? Uh, you know, I'll be honest. In the Civil War, the South lost a lot of battles, and they ended up losing the war. That's kind <laughs> of why you lost the Civil War. Thank God. <laughs> we might not be doing this podcast. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, this would be a dub. We're definitely not doing this podcast. This is <laughs> from DR. <laughs> Island pinstripe shot for sure. Island. <laughs> We're Talk, sure about Babe Ruth, Island. Babe. Talk about Babe Ruth's uh, 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 cousin and shit playing second base and shit. <laughs> Tropical strong. <laughs> Tropical strong. <laughs> for sure. Palm trees. Caribbean Yo, lady. Uh, <laughs> for sure I, I just yeah man I, it's it's confusing it, like the lineup's inconsistent the offense is inconsistent the they way they manage the second and, late yeah, yeah Glaber bro I feel like they don't know what the fuck they do <laughs> like it feels know, like, feel like they, they just are. go they just winging it like yo fuck it yo whatever works let's just throw it out there dude. oh you know he's won this game seven to two uh seven to two Seven to two. So I like this game. I, li I like the way that, the way that they responded. You know, they came back oh, down five zip the previous game. Uh, put it on the and Orioles. Then, then, yeah, flew flew to to Baltimore. Put it put it on the Orioles. You know, score seven. All home runs. Right, yeah. Bronx Bombers. You know, and we were we were trying to figure out what happens, but then again, you know, cardiac Yankees, Mister Inconsistent. Bro, Gio, I feel like Gio's starting to get a little bit on a heater. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the game that kind of, you know, he yep. hit his home run in this in, in the next game, hit a two-run bomb. Uh, that was two to zip. Then Austin Hayes homer. Who's pitching this fucking game? It was uh, Cortez. Cortez versus Means. Oh, before we move on to the Cortez game, we got to talk about Glaber. Was that in was that was that? in that was in the seven to two game in the seven to so and that was a game also Sal Romano came in and like okay that seven to two game that wasn't completely smooth sailing like the score kind of lies to you a bit that seven to two game got a little bit like frustrating at some points what did Glaber do I have a note that says uh you know Glaber I feel like I that was in the middle game where he didn't throw the ball to second base so yeah well that's the second game. Where is my oh, notes? He had another one. And what is this plan? So, yeah, Glaber in that game, before, or before that game, he comes out and says, you know, um, you know, I feel comfortable at second. You know, this is the Yankees. There's too many errors. And Marley Rivera posts that, and we all see Glaber, and we're like, yeah, we're rooting for you, Glaber. Um, and then what did he do? Because there was, there was two errors. There was one. Oh, it was at the yeah. It was all right. He had a half swing yeah. in that game where the half swing was right into the first baseman's glove. And then he, he didn't hustle. He grounded out in the eighth inning and he didn't hustle. And then that caused a stir on Yankees Twitter where it's like, yo, you can't have dude out right. here committing errors and not hustling. Like he just started to look again like he was in his head. Right. There was a botched double. There it goes. It was a yes, botched double play. It was a botched play. double play. Yes. Yes. Yep. Where the ball got hit to him, didn't convert it, and then he ended up converting the harder play, uh, which is another double play, kind of like up the middle. Um, yeah, I think ball, he, ball came right back to him, and he got another chance. But it's like, yo, like, lock in, Glaber. Like, yes. You're right. Uh, you're right. You're right. You're right. And the fact that Chapman had to pitch in this game, yep. Romano – I can't wait to have Sevy back and to have Herman. The botch double play wasn't in the first game, though. It wasn't the first game. It was. It was. It was, it was in game one. It, not, it was not the. Yeah, it was in the seven-two game. That's why I said there was yeah. a couple little things that I made note of because I'm like the score will make us think that, that this was game. all smooth okay. sailing, but that was in the first game. We can go to the second game. Yeah, in the second game. That's when he had the the ground ball that went to him, and he didn't even look at second base. He just threw it right to the Thought it was the last oh, out. 
bro like we were just like what the hell like what happened there um oh yeah R- romano ended up forcing chapman to come into this game that just sucked um, yeah he put his hand yeah, up got, to try and yeah, feel the it. ball yeah he fucked up his finger yeah uh he got like two quick outs and then ended up kind of like imploding a little bit i was like what the fuck um but yeah this game was really close the, this the second game was really close again and then Baltimore was actually up on the Yankees three to two. It was like, yo, why? But the reason that they ended up going up again, that that Glaber play, bro, yeah. like Glaber, and and then the, you know the camera always focuses on him, and I, I hate it. Like somebody was like, oh man, you guys have been, you guys at John Boy Media are really trying to get the the fans to turn on Glaber. I'm like, you need us to do that. He's kind of doing it himself. Nah. We're not trying to get people to turn on Glaber at all. We support Glaber. Yeah, we got a whole shirt. <laughs> we made the GT laws. I came out and replied to Marley, and I said he's just got to do his job, play his game, and help his team. A lot of people That's were it. with that, and then he comes out doing that nonsense. We support Glaber. We know he's better than this. We need him to mentally lock in. I'm tired of seeing the puppy dog Glaber with the glove like – he needs a, he needs another manager, man. The whole he needs another manager. Right, like Boone's talked to him all season, and he's not getting through to him. Because when we see him on the field, it's like, didn't you just say you talked to like, come on, yo, about the hustling and they're non-hustling, and then the errors, and then it's just like lackadaisical, lazy shit. Like I don't know how you watch a guy run in front of you, and you throw the ball to first, and Rizzo's firing that shit back to second. Like, what are you doing? Yo, doing, bro, that shit got me tight. That that's crazy. Like everybody was looking around, like, yo, what the hell? What happened? Now he was he was a big catalyst. That's the reason why we won in the top of the night because he got the base hit uh in front of you know. Which, by the way, we got to talk about. Like he almost if <laughs> the, he did not thing. read that. If he didn't read that, the that base was like a running play. When he was base running, he took a chance. He was like at third base looking back to see if he's going to catch it or not. And then he ended up rounding the bases because he didn't catch it. But if he would have made an amazing catch, which he could have, he would have been doubled off and it would have been the game. And they would have had to sit him the rest of the season. He's towing the line, bro. He's towing the line right now with some of these mistakes. And I know some people are like, well, it was debatable. And, And he got bailed out, right? The double play, he got bailed out. Ball came right back to him. But then other times you don't get bailed out. When he when he didn't get that out, that double play in, in that that inning, a home run came right after that. Chad Green gave up the homer. And it's like, that just happened. That happened in the Mets series. You make an error, they make you pay. That happened in the Bronx against the Orioles. Cedric Mullins hit a two-run bomb after you couldn't make the throw. And it's like the baseball gods, man. Yeah, man it's, they, oh, it's, like they, it's like they laugh. The baseball gods, they're cruel. They see you do something stupid, and immediately something good happens for the other team. We, we support Glaber, but, like, if y'all want to get into the postseason, we can't have Glaber make a mistake like that in the postseason. It'll be the next Bill Buckner or some shit. Like, oh, my God. We, we can't. We can't have it, yo. We can't have it. It's hard to put the guy out there right now. They said we, we moved uh, we moved Glaber to second because we're going to be oh, opening he's, the wallets. We're going to be opening the wallets in the offseason for a shortstop. He's getting into – Eduardo Nunez territory into oh, Edward. Remember Edward Scissorhands? Of course. Bro. <laughs> you were talking about Jeter in 2012. Bro, bro, you wanna you wanna talk about like you know winning one run games and uh you know winning close games and shit like that. We won't win shit, no close game blowouts that we can't defend. Right. If you can't get easy that outs, is, get the yeah, outs. We can't, <laughs> that's if what we can't I, make the room team plays. Chris, that's why I'm saying that I, I want to dive into those numbers because, yeah, you know, the closed games or whatever, but usually when people when teams are like that, that are winning those closed games, it's because, okay, maybe they don't have the offense, but they have the pitching and defense that's always keeping them in the game. And mm-hmm. the Yankees don't have that kind of defense. And, you know, their pitching has been has been good this season. They have been. I'm not going to say that it's, it hasn't. Uh, it hasn't been better than expected. Their starting pitching has been better than expected. Their relief pitching, even though we've had some gut punch with losses because of the bullpen, Chad Green um, and Chapman, uh, we've, you know, we've still, for the most part, our bullpen is still pretty good. Um, but 
bro, I don't see the defense really with this team. The defense did get better when we acquired Gallo and Rizzo, but Glaber mm-hmm. was still Glaber, and I don't, you know. Hopefully, ho- hopefully, Gio rectified himself and he's good. No problems. Maybe now that he's hitting, maybe he'll be good. Um, and then I personally, I don't really like DJ LeMahieu at third. Me person. either. Me either, bro. I don't like DJ, DJ at third. I, I just, I don't, I don't like him at third. It's just me. He, that's and, playing him out of position. Why are we playing guys out of position for Glaber Torres, the youngest guy on the team? And the guy who seems to be making the most errors and mental mistakes. When Glaber got hurt and we saw Velasquez come up, we immediately saw a difference. We immediately saw what it was like to have a shortstop that gobbles up balls, pause, that just makes all the plays, makes the throws. Okay. I thought Glaber was going to come back fired up. I thought he was going to come back sharpened up. I thought he was going to come back and not miss a beat. And it's like this weird disconnect where it's like, yo, we don't have time to be playing like this. We don't have time to be experiment. Okay, uh, September 13th, Glaber Torres is back to second base. It took you all this year and 2020 to get that, to figure out that he's better at second base. Cashman said it last year in the offseason. Like, it's just dumb shit, bro. The Yankees do hella dumb shit. Yankees benched them in the 7-2 game. You could say, oh, rest or, you know, 7-2, but they took him out of the game. 5-1. He was sitting in the dugout looking dumb. They they gotta they gotta do you know and they're gonna do they're probably gonna do defensive replacement. I I think that they need to bring up Velasquez as soon as he's able to come back up. That's what you know they need to do, and that's just it. But like, where is that kid, bro? What I think I think you know some people he's take a, some people right now. some people are taking it differently. You know, like some you know some some people take this adversity like you know what I'll show you I'm a really good defender and then kill it at the new position. Uh, maybe Glaber's going the other way. Um, whatever, four to three, man, and the base running stuff, and it's just too many pods that we're talking about. How Glaber is not too many, not playing his game and helping his team, right? Doing his job. And if this too many pods, it's way too many pods, man. If this was Stephen Drew or Brendan Ryan or like you know what I'm saying, we'd be like, get them the fuck up out of here. No, no, they wouldn't. They would have been caught already. But that, but that's. <laughs> I mean, no, you can't say that because we still got Heaney. <laughs> we still yeah, got Heaney. It yeah. always, it always, it always hinges on a trade, right? The same way the Yankees yeah. are the smartest guys, they they're the smartest guys about their trade. We traded for Glaber Torres. We're gonna make him a shortstop. Bye, Didi. Glaber's <sighs> our shortstop of the future. Let's thrust him into superstardom. Let's get him in some commercials. Let's get him courtside the Brooklyn Nets game. Glaber Torres, Yankee shortstop. And then when he when he can't do it, they have to see him for 140 games not do it to say, okay, we'll move him back to shortstop. And then he moves to shortstop, and it's like he might have gotten too comfortable. Like, oh, I know how to play second. Or he moves think- from shortstop to second, and it's like, oh, I know how to play second. And then you're you're fucking up his second. Keith, I think, I think, and you know what? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this here. I think this is a conspiracy. I think the Yankees have been thinking about doing this for way longer. I think that they were looking to trade for Trevor Story because they wanted to trade, they wanted to move Glaber over to second base then. That's what I think. And I think that they would have moved, they would have made the move a lot, a lot earlier if Gio wasn't hurt. Yeah, I thought it was real strange that Trevor Story didn't get traded. Well, I mean, so, they, so the maybe in on that. maybe the maybe Colorado Rockies thought it was going to be the Yankees or nobody else, and then no, that didn't that, get done. That's why they pivoted to uh, Rizzo. Rizzo, Rizzo. I, I don't think Rizzo wasn't. Maybe like he, eh. he wasn't in the cards as he a fallback. We got Luke Voigt. We got Luke. yeah. We got Voy. <laughs> we got DJ. And then that Luke. story shit. Yeah, because it was wow weird. That story wasn't true. Even him, he was like, "Yo, what?" Like he was already packing and shit. <laughs> same, same body, everybody. Yeah, you know what I mean. But then they're like, oh no, home run That's derby. He was saying his farewells after the home <laughs> run derby. Like it's been fun, Colorado. I, I think the Yankees have been looking to move him over to second base since like before the All Star break. So why they waited? Even because even after I, the All Star break, why they waited this long to do it? I think because they didn't have because they 
they looked at Gio as a long term guy there that they would have probably been more comfortable playing. And injuries and shit. Yeah. His hamstring kind of held it back. They didn't want to like push him there. And then maybe you could have played Velasquez and then and then also um uh Glaber got hurt for a while too. So a lot of those things happen. I think it would have happened already, but the reason it hasn't is because of all of those circumstances that happened all at the same time. I probably would have traded to Torres. I don't think they would have traded Torres, but I think that they would have moved them over to second. I think that that was because they're, they're, I think that they were serious about trading for Travis Story and then re-signing so, him. So DJ DJ was going to go back to a, a super utility? I think that they were going to end up moving DJ to first. And then how Void DH? Void Boy, treat do the same thing the he's doing now. Him now. <laughs> he's not not playing? on that bench not and playing. pinch hitting him once in a while and letting him play one game in the series. Whatever, man. Um, Assholes. It man. is what it is with the Yankees. Let's go. It is what it is. Um, what were we? Or did we cover the last game? Well, yeah. Shout out to today's yeah, game. Uh, yeah, uh, we we covered um, Torres. If you know. If, the ball would have been called. The game would have been over. But, you know, baseball gods helped us. I just, gave it to Guardi. The reason that the Yankees have lost eight games to the Orioles is because they keep playing them close. But the reason that they keep playing them close is because they just <laughs> don't – they don't hit against them. And they don't hit against them in these close-ass games, making it so that a bounce of the ball this way, you know, an error here or something like that ends up determining the game. If you know, I mean, we played the Orioles. It's not that the Orioles have played us tough. Is they played us? We we allowed them to play us close. So that's that's the issue. That's the issue. So that is the issue. So yeah, if they smell um, blood, they're gonna attack, especially Cedric Mullins. You guys want to go over the final game? I mean, I don't know. Today, like, today was nonsense, bro. From from the five oh five start time because the Avid brothers are supposed to perform at Camden Yards from what I heard on Twitter to the 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 what should have been delayed and then in like the ninth inning they're delaying it to to like put new dirt on the field I'm like what is this what is this the fix is in like this is all a setup they want us to blow this bro, game bro I never heard and this in a ba- I never heard this in a baseball game and I heard a crowd like a group of people because you know the, i guess it was mad fucking empty i don't know if it was the fans of this band but i heard them chant and this game and this game i never heard that shit in the baseball game i don't know if i was the only one that heard it but that shit was fucking crazy no i'm sure it was real i'm sure you heard it because you could it was hot mics in there i didn't catch that but i was doing a bunch of yeah. things <laughs> in this game which wow. they, i was with them and the game but yeah i was with too end. They weren't going to end a one-run game, and it was our fault for keeping it a one-run game. We went up 2 nothing in the second. Add more runs. Please, add <laughs> more runs to this. Please. Insane. Chris man. Ellis, bro. Chris Ellis, they picked Chris Ellis up off the scrap heap. Nobody wanted him. He no-hit us for like six, seven innings in the last couple weeks. He's put up zeros against our almighty lineup. We're like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. The offense is just fucking disgusting, B. Um, I feel bad for Monty. Uh, 12 Ks for Monty. Beautiful. Like uh, 11 Ks for Cortez is the first time that uh, back-to-back starts. Uh, a pit, uh, two pitchers, starting pitchers, had 10 or more Ks since 2009 with CC and uh, AJ Burnett. But I, I think Michael K said it's the first time in history, in Yankee, in, in the first time ever that in the Yankee history that uh, they had 11 or more Ks because Cortez had 11 and yeah. uh, Monty had 12. So that's fucking dope. And <laughs> I think it was career high for Monty, 12 Ks. Yeah. And um, Nestor and too. Andrew. Nestor's career high was seven. <laughs> he, Which is ins- like, he almost doubled what he did. And, and like, like, that's why it's frustrating. Yo, like we are getting this type of pitching performance out of Nestor Cortez jr. And Jordan Montgomery. And like, <laughs> we almost lost that game with the Cortez start, and then we lost this game. Uh, an extra, and it sucks that it came in, in two strikes, two outs. 
we just needed one more out, be one more strike, and we fucking failed, man. Well, fucking I mean, failed. It should have never been there. Exactly. Like I said, one for seven, ten men left on base, and two so, two, two offensive players on the bench. But even but even with that, and yes, highly agree that it should have never gotten there. But we were there, and we still had a chance to win. And then we could still would have talked our shit because we, I, I, it would have been like, yo, what, what the fuck? Yeah, we won the game, but come on, two to one against the Orioles. But the fact that we lost it is a, is a, is a, is a shitty shit. <laughs> shitty shit. That's it shitty. is some shitty shit, bro. We but had the bases loaded. What was it? we had the bases loaded in the seventh? Or maybe it was. I don't know. We had chances. Like we had plenty of chances. We did have chances. We did have chances. The reason I said everything comes together is because Chapman is forced to pitch the first game. And because of that, he can't pitch in the last game. That's it. Forget it. Forget Full it. Bullpen budget. That's it. Oh, I smoke you, Chapman. Like You're not, you're not going to pitch him four days in a row. So you pitch him and three Chapman looked good. And I but will give him his, really his props. I will give him his credit. Whatever he did to fix himself... I'm starting to see him come back. I'm starting to see. I'm starting to see Chapman like actually take care look of those like walks, Chapman. Bro. Take care of those walks. Yeah. After that, he's been he's been looking good. But um, to, to see Chap and and Geo getting into shape, love to see it. Um, real quick, uh, congratulations to the summer set. Those wall pitches, man. What? He, one of them. He should have. He should have gotten in front of that wall pitch. Gary. Gary. Oh, Gary? The Clay oh, yeah. Holmes one, like, I no, mean, what, bro, one of the you got to do it. I'm sorry, they even one of them Aaron was Boone. like, I know, no, one was, of them was wide. One of them was wild outside, yeah, one them, like one of them was wide outside. The other one he should have kept there. But he that's being asleep at the wheel. That's not being all the way locked in. That's Gary Sanchez again, similar to Glaber, being lackadaisical. Bro, we are fighting for our season. You have to like, you have to block that. You have to block that. Game is on the line. But the ball gets to the backstop. They basically scored on two wild pitches. That shit is fucking insane. <sighs> and then the ghost Whoa. runner scores. Left what the door open. Ghost runner. Uh, ghost they, runner. Kicked, they kicked it down. They kicked it, kicked it down. Uh, real quick, Somerset Patriots uh, division title. The Northeast. Yeah, man. They uh, round of applause to the Somerset Patriots Northeast Division <laughs> champions. I wish I got um, down there, man. I wish I drove down there to see them play. Dope, dope. Uh, it, it says, uh, with tonight's win, Somerset has officially clinched the best record in the AA Northeast League's Northeast Division. The, they still have not yet clinched a playoff berth. Two more wins or one win and some help will clinch a spot in the league's postseason. So that's dope. Um, hopefully the Yankees could do the same. Hopefully. First year right. with the Yankees, they winning, you know, they holding it down. They doing what they're supposed to do. <laughs> P.O.P. Holding it down. All right. <laughs> so what uh, pitcher, strong performer of the series? We're away. You guys go first. It's all day long and all night long. Let's go. All right. So Keith won first last time. So it's only right. Who the fuck? You know what? I'm going to give it a Cortez, man. I'm gonna give it to Cortez. Uh, you know, season uh, career high in, in K's, man. He gave us the best chance to win. Uh, I, I mean, besides Monty, kind of edged them out in terms of who pitched the best in this series. Um, for me, in my opinion, uh, Cortez. What, what the fuck is his numbers, man? Got it right here. Uh, Cortez, six and a third. Three hits, one earned, 11 Ks. That was a home run that he allowed, man. But what a revelation Cortez has been, man, for the starting pitching. Where would we be without Cortez, Cortez starting for us? He's yeah. making, making himself some money for next year. Yep. Oh, my God, he is. And he oh, better man. be here, too. Yeah, man, he better be here. Uh, we can't let's – not, let's not ship him away again to Seattle because <laughs> we might not get him back. Uh, but shout-out to Cortez Jr., man. Love to see it. And you're my finisher, strong performer. Who you got, Keith? I was going to pick Nesta, but I'll pick one of my other favorite guys. Brett Gardner. 
Mm. Brad Gardner. Great job. Gaudy B. Still got it. And all y'all haters were saying you wanted Clint Frazier. I didn't forget. Yo, this dude, <laughs> <laughs> this dude is 38 what? years old. We've seen him <laughs> in clutch situations. We've seen him have those tough at bats. He is that guy to get it done. Last night, bloop single, bloop, bloop that shit perfectly in to win the game. He had a he had a few hits. Where let me see his numbers in this series. He had three hits yesterday. I think he had a three hit game yesterday. He yeah. I'm pretty sure he had uh two RBIs. I mean, there's only two, there's only two games that we won. And you know, he had to lead off today. But Brett Gardner, you're my pinstripe strong performer. You have well earned your contract this year. And uh, I appreciate you being a leader because I know you don't want to go out a loser. Um, if this is your last season, I know you're trying to get to the postseason. And, and we see you leading by example. So appreciate it, Gardner. Wow. Big hit. Big hit yesterday, for sure. Yes. A huge. You got, Joe? Huge blue pit. Um, huge. Me? Isn't it you? Oh, no, you went. Um <laughs> I'm gonna go. You with, stay doing that. This is nah, nah. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Still thinking about that loss yesterday. <laughs> Still thinking about the loss. The, the loss. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna go with uh, with Gio de Gato Shella. Uh, of course, Gio Shella, who of course now has to take on the responsibility of shortstop. And is now finally after getting you trashes and looking lost, uh, is hitting now, which is great. And we need him to hit, hit a two run homer. He basically won that game, uh, that game as well. Um, he's doing a great job. My man hit three, or, or what do you got? He had three RBI in this series, and he hit, he went four for 11 in this series. That gives him a nice three. 364 average for this. Was on base a couple of times. Had a 1.1 1 .1 OPS. Great job, Gio to the God or Shella. Homer, double, three RBIs. Gio to the God is back. Love, love it. it. Love it. Honorable mention, Jordan Montgomery. Uh, I loved what I saw out of Monty today. I wish we would have done more from him, but it's the same story. But, you know, I feel like Monty watched Nestor yesterday against this lineup, and he was like, oh, I got some yeah. shit for him, too. And he did his thing, man. He did his thing. I, I, I just wish. Giancarlo's an honorable mention as well. He's another guy. Oh yeah, multi hit game. I want to give one. Uh, I want to give a gold star to uh, Wade because yes. he stole third. The stolen base, yes. He stolen base. He stole third, and that's why they had to come in and on the field. And that's how Guardy got the the game winning hit to score two. So shout out to Wade, man. Uh, we get on you a lot, B, but when you do when when you do the shit you're supposed to do. Like, use your fucking legs and play defense. You're good, my guy. It's been a while since 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 we got on Wade. Pause. Um, it's been a while. Uh, he's been playing really good and playing yes. well to the T. So, it's time for you trash. You trash, son! Who you got, Joe? Who <laughs> we got for you trash? You, you, you. Trash. Trash. Um, Flavor Torres. Of yeah. course. It's so hard for you to get you trash batting 364. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He batted 364 in this series, but he's getting you trash because of the way that he's responding on defense. You didn't turn that double play that was needed. You had a base like a you're lucky that that base running gaff didn't turn into the, another Yankees loss because we almost lost the series on that base running uh that you almost did. Um Hustling, not hustling, rather. Not hustling. Yes, good job, Key. Uh, not hustling as well on 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 that play. Like, what the hell was that about? And then making errors, not even looking, you know, like mentally you look like you checked out, homie. So no glove, no love. I don't give you bat 700. You don't get no love on this podcast if you don't bring your glove to the ballpark and use it correctly. No hooks for you. Bro, today, <laughs> today he that. swung 3-0. He swung 3-0, and that shit oh pissed me off. Oh, my God, I forgot about that. Bro, he just yeah, he finished walking Rizzo. This kid, like, Ellis, bro, bro, whatever. What the fuck are you doing? Yo, it was crazy. This kid was, like, all over the place. He was walking people. Walk Rizzo. You're next. 
hello, you're up 3-0 and you swing? Pops out. Pop, what are you doing? And it wasn't even like he hit it hard at somebody. No, it was just like, bro, take the damn pitch. Yeah, man. You had Gallo batting right behind you. Not locked in, yo. Where's your baseball IQ, bro? I didn't even play baseball at a high level. I stopped playing baseball when I was 13. I've just been watching long enough. I know that. Everyone knows that. It's 3-0. Take that pitch. See what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, Ken Singleton said, if you're going to swing, you got to swing hard, B. Like, you, you can't. You can't get you know I mean? If you're going to swing 3-0, yeah, you, you got to, man. You got to. That shit. He, he got thrown it. out stealing, yes, but I, I don't mind him. I don't mind somebody getting thrown out stealing because it's better than the Yankees not running at all. Yeah, and it was um, close. They shouldn't have overturned that today. They shouldn't have overturned that. They shouldn't have overturned that. They, they found some, you know. The fix was in. Um, was evidence. MLB offices was like, hey, y'all not getting your 100 loss tonight. We going to crush these Yankee fans. Bro, MLB wants the Yankees in the playoffs. They of want course the they do. Playoffs. And we we still very might well be in the playoffs. But today, they helped manufacture that win for the Orioles. All right. Pick to click. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Relax, B. Like, <laughs> like, yo, like, <laughs> yo, what the hell is going on? Pay attention to us. I mean, no, we I not here. Like, yo, right, man, we out of here, man. I feel like Labor Torres is... Is the and whole he's, he's getting he's getting all three. He's the whole you try. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give mine to Chad Green. And I know in that inning, no one, you know, no we should have got out of the inning, whatever, shouldn't allowed it to get there, but no, 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 no. And some of this you trash goes to Aaron Boone because uh Chad gave us a good <laughs> inning and then he came back out and it was just like it's too much. Bro is cooked. And when I say bro is cooked, like some people on Twitter don't get that, he's overused, and he also isn't. The guy for these high leverage situations. How many home runs? Joe said it, 14 home runs. Like, how many times do you need to see him come in and give up a bomb? And it's the same shit. It was an 0-2 fastball in the zone. These are professional hitters. I've said on this podcast, I can't stand watching Chad Green throw batting practice to professional hitters, throwing fastballs right down the middle of the plate. What do you think Francisco Lindor is going to do with that? What do you think some of these guys are going to do with that shit, bro? They're going to hit it out. So you trash, Chad. You got to figure it out. I remember we sent you down to Scranton for a little bit in like 2019 or, or 2018, was it? We, you figured it out. We used to do the Chad Nestor. You'd be the opener. Nah, bro. At this point, our bullpen is taxed. We don't have Britain. We, you know, Chapman is still figuring his stuff out. We need you to be better. We can't rely on you anymore, Chad. You give it up. Stop giving up so many damn home runs, you trash. Definitely, Chad should have done the job, but knowing that he's kind of struggling, I think Boone should have never have him come out. And I get it, the, the the bullpen is taxed, but you want him to, you want his confidence to, you know, to gradually increase with some good outings here and there, because the last, he got burned again coming out for the second time for for another inning. So like, just give him that one inning, you know, with his head I high, he got the job done, but. He I'm does right. need a third pitch. Yo, I see somebody in chat. He needs a third pitch, but his he's not gonna magically make one before the end of this season. He's not gonna magically yeah, nah, figure, figure like out. A couple weeks left. And Arvilo was saying in the chat, they were saying, "Oh, nah, it's not his fault. Glaber put him there." I get it. I said that, that too. But I will tell you this, Chad Green, you can't give up a, a walk, a single, a double. You gotta give up bombs every time. No, that's on him, bro. You give up an OT, a O2 bomb, that's you, bro. Like, right, it was a mistake. It. It was pitch away from striking him out. And then you gave up the game. You, th you throw it right there. Uh, and I, I, I'm kind of tired of the, the whole, the whole. oh, he might be tired. He was giving up bombs in May, too, man. Right. He was. Yeah, he was. Got better. Was. Pitch, uh, better pitch selection, bro. It's just crazy. Throw it out the uh, zone. <laughs> right. Uh, I got Judge. Yes. You trash. You trash, Judge. Yeah, you hit a home run. But like Joe said, you just disappeared, B. Like, there's, there's no time for magic tricks, man. Like, I need to see you. <laughs> like, uh, he batted, like, for the rest of the way, like, Over. under 100. Over. Yes. Over five like, today. Or, or over, over five yesterday. And then... Over five today, like that's just come on, judge. You can't disappear like that. Not a can yeah. yards, not like not after we're calling you the captain, not after we're saying, bro, this guy's MVP level this season. Pay him, pay him. I know five it's tough, K's. but 
five Ks, one walk, not a good ratio. Um, yeah, man, you trash, B. Like, we just need you to get better. We definitely need you for Cleveland. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know they're going to be playing spoiler. You know, they want to. <laughs> they're going to hit. Wanna... I guarantee yeah. they come here and hit this weekend. I guarantee rate field you. <laughs> you're gonna try to... I'm in there tomorrow. I'm in there Saturday, Friday and Saturday. Maybe, I don't know. Probably not Sunday, but we better figure it out fast. Hey, so pick to click. Pick to click. Who Who do we pick? Before, so pick the we, 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 all, we always say, we always say, I don't remember. Uh, I, I don't think, I, think Keith, I don't Stanton? think, Keith, did you pick? Keith? Yeah, you did. No, I don't know. I wasn't on, I wasn't on the, was you're I on the last one? You're in the last one. Oh, I was on the Met series pod. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Did I pick Stan? Uh, you I know pick, I picked someone pick easy, Stanton. either Stan or Judge. You, you picked Stan. I think I picked oh, Stan. No, Keith picked Stan and I picked I go DJ. Last. I go last. And then Joe picked Labor. I go last. So who's who's gonna win it between DJ and Giancarlo? <laughs> uh, in this series, Giancarlo. Giancarlo. So sure. I win. Joey Stats, put that in the sheet. I win. I win that. Yeah, five, five hits. I always win on some like default random shit. I'm yeah, like. five five hits to to DJ's two hits. Yeah, man, trash. I'm 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 willingly taking the final pick because even though Glaber hit three sixty four. Okay, yeah, but so you, you chose him for you trash. I know exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's by default. <laughs> he's, he's gone. Oh, <laughs> All right, so got Keith. Who you got? Next pick to click for next series for Cleveland. Cleveland. Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo. I feel like <laughs> is gonna keep this hot streak going. Um, they need to just play him every day. Uh, I feel like he had to rest. He was striking out. There's something they changed. Something with him. Uh, he's been better at the plate. And I think in Yankee Stadium with the short porch and him hearing the fans and him being out there in left field, Joey Gallo is going to turn up this uh, weekend in the Bronx. So I'm going with Gallo. All right. Uh, of course, I'm going to go with the former Cleveland Indian or Cleveland. What are their name now? Cleveland what? Guardians. Guardians. Geo. Of course, huh. man, I'm going to go for Geo. <laughs> I'm going to go for Geo, man. He's a you know Geo, revenge. Revenge games. Revenge. Revenge. And, and, and Gio is hot right now. He, he looks good now. Paul is like, the last two games, I'm like, that's the Gio I remember. Shit. There's no swag chat, man. I, no, no I, swag I, in Baltimore. I, yeah, I, I, have, I, haven't, I haven't really, I haven't seen anybody. So oh. no swag chat this time around. Who you got, Joe? He said, I'm willingly going last. <laughs> <laughs> and then he don't know who to pick. <laughs> No, you want a Gio. That's what you wanted. Uh, yeah, I want a Gio. Uh, let me see. Kai Green. No. Um. <laughs> and Chad Green pitches <laughs> all three games. Corey Kluber. <laughs> nah. Um. Shit, man. I feel like this guy's kind of been like a zero a little bit. And I, I would like to pick. I would like. To see Judge does a rebound here in Yankee Stadium. Um, I kind of want to do Oysters, clams, and cuckles. Oysters, clams, and cuckles. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go with uh, Anthony Rizzo. Lock him in. I'm going to go with Anthony Rizzo. No numbers. I'm not using any numbers. I'm not using anything. He's probably been as cold as ice. I haven't even looked at anything. I'll use Anthony Rizzo. Hopefully. Short porch, Anthony Rizzo. Hopefully, make some great plays. Short uh, busy, but I just, they, they've shortened Glaver's throws, man, and he's still making errors. It's, it's incredible, honestly. I'm like, what happened, yo? Yeah. It's mental. It's it's all in his head. Shot in the dark. I'm going to go ahead and take Tyler Wade. Shot in the Rizzo. Rizzo. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the pod. I think. Are we done? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so, man. I think. Uh, All right. uh, next week, BMF. Is yeah. it next week? BMF next week. Guys, make sure you guys 
Go to shop.johnboymedia.com. Got the Delo Mio shirts out right here. Look at this right here. We are represented heavy. Get the Delo Mio shirts, baby. Let's go. We out of here, Joe. Brought to you by Manscaped. <laughs> nah, it's not the podcast. No, no. <laughs> Chris. That's funny. Hygienic. <laughs> Manscaped brought to you by Manscaped. <laughs> Love your nuts. <laughs> Love your Love your nuts. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Love your privates. <laughs> Love the unmentionables, you heard? Love the unmentionables. <laughs> the unmentionables. <laughs> <laughs> or I was dying laughing watching that shit. <laughs>